What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are showcasing a Gen 1 favorite. We got ourselves a Belly Drum Snorlax Trickroom team that also features Evo Light Dust Cops, who is back returning into the game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was sent in by a viewer of mine, Kraken. Thank you so much for dropping this team in my YouTube comments. Absolutely love it so far. Tried it out on a couple casual battles, and it thrives out pretty well. You got the Evil Light Dust Cops, and then you got the Belly Jump Snorlax, who is the star of the show. Cannot wait to showcase both these Pokemon and use them to their fullest potential. But Snorlax is going to be our first Pokemon that we rock out with in today's video, rocking Thick Fat as its ability, and the Citrus Berry as its item. It is a straight normal type with the Grass Terror type, Rocket Belly Drum to boost its attack stat to plus 6, Ice Punch, Heavy Slam, and EQ for its other 3 moves. Absolutely love this Pokemon, especially when it's next to uh, Dust Cops in the Trick Room, it really just gets killing it from there. We got Amoogus in our second slot, a great support Pokemon to help Snorlax get set up here with the Generator and the Rocky Helmet. It's got Protect, Sport, Rage Powder, and Pollen Puff. We got Hisuian Arcanine in our third slot with Intimidate and a Loaded Dice, Rock and Protect, Extreme Speed, Flare Blitz, and Rock Blast. Cresselia is in our fourth slot, a great Trick Room setter and a great Pokemon within that Trick Room. It's got Levitate with the Leftovers as its item, Rock and Psychic, Lunar, Blessing, Moon Blast, and Shrink. Fifth slot is going to be Choice Specs Rotom Wash with Levitate and Thunderbolt, then Bolt Switch, Shadow Ball, and Hydro Pump. This Pokemon hits like an absolute truck. Paired up with the Choice Specs, it's hitting even harder. In our final slot is going to be Evo Light Dust Cop. And if you guys played Sword and Shield at all, this Pokemon was a big part of the meta. A great Trick Room Setter and a great support Pokemon all around. It has Frisk, it's got the Evo Light Boost's defensive stats, and then its moveset is Protect, Will O Wisp, Nightshade, and Trick Room. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Not the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get out after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder. Look to showcase Belly Jump Snorlax on the ladder. We're loading into our first match for today's video. And if you guys have teams featuring new Pokemon slash returning Pokemon, make sure you guys get on me, whether it be in the YouTube comment section down below or over on my Twitter, which is link is down in the description. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking for teams with all different Pokemon that I haven't showcased yet. Would love to use them on this channel. So again, if you guys have teams, get them over to me. But we're hopping into our first match. We're going up against a Torkoal and Lilligan team. Very, very strong combo. Definitely got to watch out for that. I do have Thick Fat on the Snorlax, which will half damage from fire moves. So I really don't mind going into Snorlax here. I'm going to go Snorlax. I am also going to go Dust Cops. I really like Dust Cops considering it has great special defense. 200. Wow. That's absurd. What's your special defense? 146. I still see you eating up whatever shots they have. But do I go in the crest or do I go into Dust Cops? Options, options, options. Hmm, because I see them most likely leading either a fake out user or like Logan Torkoal. And I think I'm just going to gonna go into Dust Cops here. They're such good Pokemon. It really is. Or Crest. Crest got the HP boost, which is massive. Hmm. Tough news. I definitely want to try to pop Trick Room. Definitely want to try to pop Trick Room. I'm going to go into Cress. I'm going to bring Amoongus in the back end, and last but not least, I think we go in with Rotom. Rotom's going to be great. Ah, uh, Grassy God, do me a little dirty. Actually, let's go Arcanine. I like Arcanine with the Rock Blast. It's going to be super effective on two a few. You got the Fire Moves as well. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to pull off Belly Drum in match number one here. Get some Rolex set up and try to get after it that way. But I really wish the Snorlax did have Protect. I feel like Protect on a Trick Room team is so valuable, even with Belly Drum. It just really is. But they're going to end up going into Rillaboom and Florges. Florges. And from here, mm, I definitely want to try to pop Trick Room. I think I'm going to go in with a nice little Belly Drum, try to get that set up. And just go in with Trick Room. Try to get them both. Try to get them both cooking. So this is where I really wish we had protect because he's gonna he's gonna fake out he's probably gonna fake out my snorlax right and he's just gonna u-turn out and I'm cool with that because we're able to soak so with us able to soak like that trick room we should be able to pop off trick room and get off this belly drum which would be huge because from there I can just start lunar blessing all that good stuff he's gonna end up going into Arcanine which is fine I mean you're gonna you're gonna minus my attack but I'm just going to boost it fully back up and plus I have EQ ready to go oh you have airborne of course you got airborne and a sunny day comes out here that's a little scary 
That be a little scary, but I get all this popping. I get all this popping. So I get the belly jump set up. I get the citrus berry HP. I, I will start getting grassy terrain HP as well. And I do get to set up this level in the trick room. The trick room is out and about. Um, Flare Blitz, I am a little scared of. I, I, I do have thick fat, which is awesome. I can half damage from all fire moves. Really, really massive. And from here, I'm thinking of just popping EQ, right? He's my best friend. We go EQ, and on top of that, do we just do we just go back to full HP with Lunar Blessing? Yeah, I believe that that to be my best play, right? Just keep Snorlax alive, let him EQ out, right? He's belly jump plus six. Let's just let him start doing his thing. The Snorlax is gonna pop an EQ. This should just dump on Arcanine all day. Oh, he has Air Balloon. I forgot. He does have air balloon, but I'm just gonna lunar bust. Uh, I forgot about air balloon. I should have maybe took it off this turn. And pom pops gonna come in here, so he's just healing up his HP. That does nothing, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine. And head smash gonna come in here, which we dodge. Beautiful, so I'm gonna dodge that move. So again, this is really where I wish I had protect, cause I would protect and then take off air balloon. But I can get rid of floor just all day here. Do I dump on floor just with an EQ? Actually, I might not be able to. I might, might survive on one here. I might just survive on one. It does have head smash. Do I just tear it into grass? For that purpose? Head smash is a little scary, but I, I see us eating it up. So at this point, I'm just going to go into a heavy slam. I'm going to take off air balloon here, and I'm just going to lunar bus. Whatever damage we take, I'm going to just try to get it back here. I'm going to take off air balloon here. And that's some big time damage. A bit too much. <laughs> with heavy slam and a lunar bus is gonna come out here and I'm already at full HP aren't I? He's gonna wish okay, that's fine a little wish coming out here We, we just need these trick room turns here and player bus gonna come out here. We have that damage. We soak all day thick fat lovely Lovely thick fat lovely little thick fat. So this thing doesn't have intimidate it has What is that rockhead so it doesn't take really full damage a lot of people were giving me crap about that in my Infernate video. And like I said, yo, I was beat that day. Wasn't really thinking too much. I know my Pokemon stuff. I know it all day. But from here, EQ is going to be to play. We're just going to go EQ and I'm just going to Lunar Blessing. Let's, let's get the HP back for the Snorlax. All day long. All day long. And then we'll have like one or two turns left in Shrek which is totally fine by me. Snorlax is really thriving. And I can always pop another one. Like Snorlax is so bulky with the thick fat. It's just so good. That's why it's so massive, like, our opponent went to set the sun, he's like, okay, I'm gonna hit this thing hard with Flare Blitz. Nah, yo, Thick Fat's rocking out for us. So EQ's gonna get cooking here, it is going to get rid of the Arcanine. Florges is going to take some big time damage. And I could have taken out the Florges with the Moonblast or whatever, but... I'm fine, I I'm fine with just healing up the Snorlax. I'm not too worried about the Florges, it's not doing anything crazy. It's not really beating me up or anything. I'd rather just keep taking out the right slot. If that's what gonna come in here, that's an easy soap. Easy soak. So the wish comes through. I might double down into it this turn because EQ's gonna hit hard. And we fine, we fine. We get back to so much HP. We got leftovers, we got Lunar Blessings cooking, we got Grace and Terrain. And I gotta see how many turns left in Trick Room. It might just be one. I believe it's one. Right? Because we use one EQ, we use uh actually two EQs. We use an ice punch and then the first turn, so. I believe this should be the last turn of Trick Room, and I think we can potentially pop another one. But they're gonna go into the moon slot, and this is probably where I terrestrialize Cresselia. And we get after it that way, right? Or I could just I could just ice punch this thing. Probably my best bet. And we could terrestrialize just in case. But let me check how many turns are left in Trick Room. And it is one. That's fine. I'm just going to Ice Punch into you, and then on top of that, Terrastalize. And I'm going to throw a Moon Blast into the Forger slot. Because if you Terrastalize into Flying, which is probably your Terror type, or you stay that typing, Ice Punch is just going to rip into you, KO you. So, we're going to end up Terrastalizing our Crash, just in case a Dark Move wants to fly into the slot. Just playing it safe with these two. And we'll get Thrive, because these two seem like a problem, right? Once you get Belly Jump and Trick Room set up, you can't allow it. You just simply can't allow it. I can just Lunar Blessing, I have the Citrus Berry to get things started. And Ice Punch is now going to fly. See you later. Belly Jump Snorlax playing no games. Playing no games. The Terrastalize was just a precautionary kind of thing. Plus it is going to help Moon Blast do a bit more damage here. And we are just killing it. I think our opponent quit. 
the connection thing in the top left is going crazy. Right? You see it in the top left? It's going crazy. Did our opponent quit? Console turn off? I usually, you usually don't see that. But I feel like something's up. That's hilarious, though. Well, we have the Snorlax. We have the Crest just lighting things up right now. We could pop another Trick Room. No problem whatsoever. Because I really feel that Snorlax isn't going to die. But that's why I mentioned I wish kind of Snorlax had Protect. But it's so bulky. You could just out bulk shots to get off another Trick Room. And I'm thinking of doing that. I'm thinking of just popping another Trick Room. Depending on who they go into. If they go on the Robo, this is totally fine. I mean, they can fake me out. Definitely an option. But I feel like I just Ice Punch that. I feel like I just Ice Punch and Trick Room. Ice Punch, Trick Room, let's do it. Battle was canceled. Yeah, there's, there's no stopping this right now. Second match is on its way, and look at what we're going up against. This is just crazy. This is what you get sometimes when you hop on the casual ladder, but I love beating up on Legendary, so I would love to win this match. We're going up against Kai Ogre, Ogre Pond, and then Darkrai. First three Pokemon. That is just insane. And then they got Zapdos, also with Cerule Edge, and Urshifu. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? Trick Room, 1,000% we got to set up. There's no doubt in my mind we got to set up Trick Room, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking of maybe just leading like, psh, I don't know, because Kyogre is so scary, man. If they lead Kyogre, we are in such a terrible position. But I'm thinking of just going Snorlax Crest, right? I can Terrasalize into Grass with Snorlax. Could we go Dusclops here? I could go Dusclops. Yeah, you know what? Let's go Dusclops. Let's go in with the Clop Clops. The Cloppy Clops, dude. Loving the Cloppy Clops. Actually, I don't know if I want to lead. I think I'd rather lead Rotom and Clops and then bring Snorlax in the back end with Crest. I think that works a bit better. Because if we lead a Pokemon like Rotom with Dust Clops, we could attack. We could eventually Bolt Switch. We could do a lot while Dust Clops gets the Trick Room set up. So that's our plan instead of going straight into the combo like we did last match. I think that's very situational whether you want to lead straight up Snorlax just set up the value drum. But we'll see. We'll see. So they end up going into Dark Rye and Swords. A double ghosties. Actually I don't think Dark Rye is ghost. It looks ghost, but I think it's just full dark. It looks dude, I love Dark Rye. It looks so cool. So then a first king, Darkest Cry, I think Best Nest Dark Rye has the Focus Ash and yeah, it's rule Edge has the Assault Rest. So from here, definitely want to try to pop off this trick room. And from here, good choice in Shadow Ball. I think I just want to Volt Switch, or I kind of just want to rip a Hydro Pump. Let's be real here. Let's be real. Let's pop a Hydro Pump. They might Terra Grass, which kind of sucks, but no, they don't. They go for a Dark Void. And thank God Dark Clops dodged that. And Rotom dodged. Oh, we get the Double Dodge. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So now we just dump on this Edge, right? Yep, it's Edge. Gaum. Gaum. Good, 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 And Darkest Void's looking scary. I don't really know too much of what it does because I never really use Legendaries that much, but I probably know it does something crazy. So let me look it up real quick. So let's go. Let's, let's look up Darkest Void on my extra monitor, which is always good. Always good. And let's see what it does. It is... 55% accuracy, though. 55% accuracy. It puts all adjacent foes to sleep with the accuracy of 80% of each Pokemon. Oh, I thought it was 50. So it's just a double sleep? Yo, chill. Oh, no, they, that was that was later gen or lower generations. It was 50% or 80%. Now they nerfed it and put it to 50%, which is fair, which is very fair. So from here, I am going to go after you, and I think I might just hard swap into the lax, right? I'm going to hard swap into the next. We'll save our Rotom for later usage. Battle was canceled. Okay, hey, dude, we, we'll, we'll take that win. We'll take that win. Up against Legendaries, I love it. We'll take that last win all day. Went up against Dark Ride. They missed Darkest Void, and they were just like, nah, yo, I'm done. I'm out of here. And they left that match. So we're sitting 2 0. We're in our third and final match going up against a pretty. I was going to say Mono Fire Squad, but they have two other Pokemon like Blood Moon, Ursa Luna, and. Hornatus, which does not make it a mono fire squad, but they got the Ogre Pond, they got Heatran, they got Chiyu, and then they're also rocking out with Hisuian Arcanine. 
How should I play this one? I love Snorlax here. Like, Snorlax is an absolute monster here. Gonna be super effective with Ice Punch onto the Ursaluna and onto the Tornadus. And then the rest, I can just EQ. They're all fire. They're all fire type Pokemon. So I would love to get off Belly Drum. I would love to set off Trick Room. But I think a good lead here is going to be the Rotom Dusclops yet again. And then bring Crest and Snorlax in the back end. Just seems, just seems right. It just seems perfect because I can get off some damage with Rotom. I can also trick him with Dusk Ops, and then if I get in Crest and Snorlax, we can kind of do what we did in match number one, where we can we constantly heal, we can reset trick him if need be, we can set up the Belly Drum then. Everything seems to be working out in my mind with this squad right here, so we're going to try it out here. Look to go 3-0, because that second match was rather quick. The first match was a bit longer, so kind of evens out. But they end up going Tornadus, they end up going Arcanine. I do not mind. I simply don't mind. And I think they're just Volt switching into Tornadus. I'm not worried about Arcanine if I can get off the trick room. I really am not. So, Tornadus does have Eject Button. Okay. And Arcanine is Sashed. So, I'm thinking of just Volt Switching, having him switch out, and then just pop a trick at the same time. We'll see. Could be, he could be, uh... Could Rock Taunt, which could be a little bit of an issue if you are going to Taunt the Dust Cops. No, you end up going Sunny Day. I don't mind the Sunny Day. I really don't. So I don't think you're able to KO those Cops. We're going for Rock Slide. Do not flinch. Rotom, come on, man. Dust Cops, you're the man. You're the man. You are the man. The GOAT, the man. The best to ever do it. So from here, you know, I'm just going to use my value here. I'm going to go here. And I'm just going to start Night Shading you down. So I'm going to switch my choice instead of Bolt Switch, and I'm going to just Thunderbolt. Because they already outspeed me. They already proved that to me. So being able to just drop a Thunderbolt is going to be lovely. Um, they could swap into Blood Moon or Saluna, which could be a nice call. But so Night Shade's going to pop. It's going to do the same amount of damage every single time. And Thunderbolt is also going to fly. It probably KO, right? Yeah, your check button means nothing. That's why I, lo I love Frisk, too. Like, having Dusk Ops is so good. You know what items they got. You know what they're cooking. Rock Side's going to come out here, deal some more damage. And again, I don't mind if they KO my Pokemon right here. I think we're, I think we're going to be cooking. I think we're I think we're thriving with Strongx in the back end. So you could take out my Rotom all day. I don't mind it. And I think one more. Ooh, that's gonna be close. Ursaluna is gonna come out, here, which is special attack, and I, I wanted to burn it so bad. I did want to bu burn it, but I'm gonna go Thunderbolt here, and I'm just gonna double down Arcanine. I'm looking to KO Arcanine. Looking to KO Arcanine. The Night Shade's gonna fly here. Chip up some damage. Can Thunderbolt finish off? No, you actually have speed. Blood Moon's gonna come in here and rip into my desktop. So that's fine. It's it's it. We're fine here. Thunderbolt's gonna be cooking. That should KO. No, it's beautiful. I'm getting off a lot of value with Dust Cops and Choice Specs right now. A lot of value. A bit too much value, right? A bit too much value. <laughs> We're getting off so much value out of these guys. Picking up a double KO and Ogre Pond's gonna be the final Pokemon. So, hmm. In the sun, it's 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 a scary scary little customer. And we gotta double down into him. How many turns left in Trick Room? Three. Two. Two. Okay, that kinda hurts. We do have lovely thick fat on our Snorlax, which is huge. It's massive. And yo, Dust Cop's textures look so good in this game. <laughs> Did you see that up close? Look at him! He looks so good! He looks so good in this game. Like you could see like the claw. Like the, the, the weaving of the claw. Looks so good though. I love like some Pokemon's like texture design are so good. Like uh Scissor is up there. Looks really, really good. Dust comps look so good too. But they end up terrestrializing the Blood Moon. They're gonna get after him and from here. Then spiky shit. Smart point. So he's wasting out a turn of trick room. Probably gonna pick up a double kill maybe with a hyper voice or something. And we'll go from there. So I'll have one more turn left with Surrelax and Cresselia. You know, going for an Earth Power. <laughs> what time, silly goose? Idiot, I should say. Not even a silly goose. Idiot. Even though I make this play sometimes. That kind of sucks because I really wanted to actually both these guys to die. In all honesty. But you change your typing, which means I can now attack you. And I'm gonna throw a Thunderbolt into that slot if I can, but chance already just KOs me. So, Ogre Pond decides to land a double spiky shield. Like, what? 
<laughs> this absurd. Very absurd right now. <laughs> we'll go from there. That is so stupid. <laughs> Seeing the sides land a double spiky shield. Just lovely. And he's going to take out Dust Cops. So with him taking out Dust Cops. This seems like an absolute must to go into Crest and set up another trick room. Thunderbolt's going to have to fly. Can we get a para or something? We do get a para. Okay. <laughs> okay. Happy jeans, yo. Happy jeans. Big time para. Even though it makes it slower in trick room. And I do want to set up trick room. So I'm going to save the snore. I'm going to save the snore snore. Nogar Pond just looks hilarious without its terrestrialization. Right? It just, just looks like a little, 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 a little Pokemon, right? Up here, we're just going to keep ripping with these. And this is where I've tried to pop off the trick room. Try to pop off a trick room. Try to try to be in the back end for my boy Snorlax. Try to have him clean up this match. So sunlight did fade, didn't it? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's on the field, which is massive. This Ivy Cold, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. It's still doing some crazy damage. The Thunderbolt's gonna fly here. The Thunderbolt's not gonna KO. They are gonna go for a Moon Blast, and you did that, or did that, and that works out perfectly. So now I get this trick room set up. I'm ready to get cooking. I don't feel as I have to set a belly drum, right? Yeah, there's really no need for belly drum. We don't have to waste it. We don't have to waste a turn going for it. I mean, I could. I could definitely do it, but I feel as just going for, like, Q Lunar Blessing. Well, your best bet, right? Because we have Thick Fat. You're not going to do any crazy damage to, to my Snorlax. I think we can just slowly, instead of wasting another turn, just getting after him here. Plus, we can take out Ursaluna. But Ursaluna is going to get off the turn, which is kind of wild. So I'm going to do this. I am going to win our blessing. And we'll go from there just so I can get back some HP. So Blood Moon's going to come out here. Things hitting like a truck. This actually might KO me. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it does. The normal terror with Blood Moon. It's hard. It's hard. But again, I like I said, I don't think I had the wasted turn here. I had to get rid of Ursaluna here. So Ursaluna's going to drop out here. Let's see how much damage this thing's going to do. We might have to. We might have to pop a... Uh, we might have to pop a belly drum. I do a citrus spray, which is good. But let's see how much Ivy Culture does. I have thick fat. And you're hitting that hard? <laughs> what? I can't belly drum. I'll die if I belly drum. I have citrus. This is absurd. Don't tell me I lose this. Don't tell me I lose this. This thing's hitting hard. I think I got to go for a freeze. I don't even think we can freeze him because he's fired. That is... I just stick with... Probably... Did I have that belly? No, I didn't. If I belly jumped last turn, we would have been tough. EQ's going to fly. Wow, dude. Belly jump would have been the play. Belly jump would have been the play there. <laughs> it would have been the play. But I couldn't have. I couldn't have if he attacked. So I'm going to go EQ. We have two turns left in Trick Room. I need to belly jump there. Yuki's gonna fly here. The horn leech is coming out of here. This thing's hitting so hard. So now we just spike shields and I mean he wins the game regardless. Unless he misses an attack. I mean we have this. Definitely spiky shield in here. Without my mind. I have an idea. I have such a good idea. No, we don't have enough HP. We need half. Oh, dude, that sucks. I know he's going to spike his shield here. Oh, no, he doesn't. That's surprising. I should terrestrialize him. I should terrestrialize there. I still had to. I should terrestrialize grass. Do you think he maybe uses it again? I mean, it's it's not going to do much. We should terrestrialize there. I thought he was going to spike his shield. That's the reason I didn't last because I thought he was going to spiky shield and get a read on me and waste out the last turn of Trick Room, so I didn't want to change in the grass type right away, so then next turn he could just Ivy Cold I was more so reading the spike shield and then wanting to terrestrialize and take out the whole leech damage, but, and now he Ivy Cold <laughs> he's just got, this dude's just toying with me, but this thing's hitting like an absolute truck, I have thick fat on and it's still doing half damage to me. That is absurd. That is absurd. This Pokemon is OP. But hey, do one for today's video. Get the fully showcased Snorlax. Absolutely loved it.
There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Snorlax is back in the game. Absolutely love this Pokemon. I feel as everybody does. Just such a fun Pokemon to use and such a fun Pokemon to look at. Gen 1 favorite. Can't go wrong with it. But huge shout out to my boy Kraken for leaving this team in my YouTube comments. Absolutely love it. Like I said, a thousand times. We got to showcase Snorlax. We also got to showcase Evil Light Dust Cops, which I think we'll be showcasing a bit more in the future, considering this Pokemon is going to be a staple on Trick Room Teams when Regulation E does come out. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.